Before we start this video, a large thank you to Chris and Quintus for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, so today we're going to expand upon a reloading system for our guns. So right now you can see that I'm actually able to reload this weapon when we have full ammo, and we don't want that. And furthermore, we don't have a space where we're drawing ammo from, so right now it's just kind of magically reloading the gun. So we're going to have to add a few things. We're going to start over here on the weapon item script, okay? And some of this stuff is going to be temporary before uh, we add our actual inventory system with, um, you know, item storage and such. But I digress. So let's add a variable for the maximum ammo in a gun. This will be the max ammo the gun is actually able to hold at one time. I'm just going to show it at 12 because I think it's a good number for this. And we also need to have a thing called an ammo type. So... For this, we're actually going to use something called an enum. So create a new script here, wherever you want. And this is going to be accessible through any class. And an enum is just basically a simple way to organize things by a category. That's how I use it, at least. So it's a race to start and update function. And outside of public class enums, just make a public enum. And I'm going to call mine ammo type. Or you can call it ammo or whatever. And we can put the types in here. So I'm going to start by saying, for example, pistol. Now, if you want to add another one, all you do is add a comma and then go under it and just type something else. So I'll say shotgun. If you want to get specific, you can use 9mm, etc., etc. I'm just going to say now for the sake of the tutorial, pistol and shotgun. So now we have two ammo types. Now over here on our weapon item, we can make a public ammo type and call it ammo type. And now we can actually store the type of ammo here this weapon will need to use. So you're obviously not going to want to be able to use shotgun ammo for your pistol and vice versa. Now I'm going to make sure this is pistol. That's excellent. And uh, now we actually need to have a way to use an ammo type and keep track of how much ammo we have in our character's inventory. Um, so down here on the input manager, right here where we say if reload input, I'm going to start by saying if player manager dot player equipment manager dot weapon dot remaining ammo is equal to, and then I'm going to access the weapon's maximum ammo count by saying the same thing, but then saying weapon dot max ammo. And we just want to return. And we want to say this because we don't want to be able to reload if we have um, max ammo in our weapon already. That would defeat the purpose of reloading. So after that, let's save the script. That should stop us from actually being able to reload now if we're on maximum ammo. We can test this too. So let's just open up uh, some brackets here and then put this return here. And we're gonna add a debug.log just to see that we're getting here. We'll say debug.log uh, ammo already full. And we can save that now and jump into the game. And that should allow us to not reload. And we should be throwing the debug.log message when we press the load button. So I'm going to press it. And OK, so we do have a problem. It keeps going off. And that's because we forgot to reset the input. Or actually, I forgot to reset the input. So this should always come first when you're entering this function. No matter what, if we press the input, we have to make sure we reset it right away, uh, regardless of what happens. So that comes right at the top. Now, that will work fine. Okay, so next let's go over to our player and add a script called player inventory manager. And I want to stress, this is very important, this part I'm about to say, this is going to be temporary because we're going to use a Resident Evil style inventory in the future when we actually create our inventory system. But for now, I just want to make a place where we can store uh, item classes like ammo and stuff so we know what we have. So let's make some pseudo code here. We need to have the storage of ammo sorted by type and then we could say amount. And I'm sure as you guys know in Resident Evil, if you pick up an ammo box, they have a maximum capacity in each box. So I, I can't remember what the exact number is, but let's say for pistols, for example, each box can hold 50. And then the box will begin taking up a space in your inventory. So I'm just gonna say ammo item right here. And I'm going to make this derive from our base class item, kind of like how our, our weapon behaves. So it will have a model and a name, and then we can give it extra variables here, um, which we're gonna do. We're going to give it a maximum capacity and a current capacity and treat this like it's a box in the ground you can pick up in the game so you find a box of pistol ammo for example uh, there will be a maximum amount that could be in the box let's say 50 and then every time you take ammo out or add on to that it'll change what's currently in the box because in resident evil you can actually combine ammo boxes if you have so much in one and so much in another um, and if you have more than max amount, it'll actually create another ammo box in your inventory. So let's make a public ammo type for what type of ammo is in this ammo box, the ammo remaining, and then the max ammo stack po possible. I'm actually going to rename this from ammo item to ammo, uh, actually box of ammo, because um, box of ammo item, because then we can say uh, in the variable here, we can give it a lot nicer name. So instead of saying max ammo stack possible, we can say, uh, we can say box of ammo capacity, and that just sounds a lot nicer and it makes more sense. 
So I'm initialized that at 50, we'll say, and then M or remaining, I'll just initialize that at 50 as well, just for testing purposes. Again, this will change when we actually implement the full inventory system, but this is just to actually set up our reloading system and to actually uh, give us a prototype to kind of add on to and change. It's a lot like molding uh, clay, you know, like a potter's wheel. You're kind of constantly just changing it. So a lot of the stuff we'll keep, but we're going to make iterations and edits to a lot of it. So in the player inventory manager, let's just call upon the box of ammo item variable, and we'll say current ammo and inventory. And I'm just going to make a note saying this is temporary, because in the future, our inventory will, will be a, like a grid system that will consist of many items. Uh, but this is just so we can actually basically create our reloading system now. We'll edit this in the future and kind of store it slightly different. So for now, I'm just going to put that note there to let us know this is temporary. Now, uh, we have this box of ammo item script. What we want to do now is, uh, if you've created an asset menu on your script, you can now create items, uh, and you can create a box of ammo item just like we did with a weapon. So I'm gonna make a folder here now and call it ammo boxes. I'm gonna create items, box of ammo item. And then I'm going to call this uh, box of pistol ammo, and it's at 50-50, and ammo type is pistol. That's good, I'll just call it pistol ammo. And now we can actually drag it into our character on the player inventory in this little space. And this will allow us to test it. So now that we have some values here, we can kind of check and subtract from and add on to, et cetera, et cetera. We can actually start changing how we handle our reloading. Now, bear with me. There's some math that's going to happen here. I'm also going to make some comments to keep this as simple as I can. So first, we're checking to see if the weapon is currently full. And if it is, then we're returning without doing anything. We don't want to reload if the weapon is full. So that's what this first bit of logic does. Next, we want to see if we have the ammo in our inventory that is for this specific weapon that we're using. So, for example, if we're using a pistol, we have to verify that we have pistol ammo readily available in our inventory. Uh, if not, we need to return. Now, this will be simple right now because we're not doing a comprehensive check of many items. It's just the one for testing purposes. In the future, though, we will change again how this is handled and we'll make it a little bit neater. So in the player manager here, uh, I'm actually just going to make, first off, both of these things public because the player manager is where we're going to be um, calling all of our logic from if you want to connect other scripts. If you watch my Dark Souls and Unity video series, you'll know I just did an overhaul on that. So let's then make a variable for the player inventory manager and let's call that on a wake by saying get component. And I'm just going to move around a couple of these for neatness sake, try to keep everything looking clean if I can. Uh, player inventory is equal to get component player inventory. Okay, now we can reference the player inventory from our player manager and we're going to say if player manager and then dot player inventory and then we're going to see if our current ammo item and inventory dot uh, ammo type and then we're going to say is equal to the ammo type of the current weapon in our player equipment so we can copy that up here and paste that there uh, oh we need to do one thing first though we need to actually check to make sure we have ammo in our inventory or else we're going to get a null exception so let's copy that and delete it but keep it copied and then we'll say if player manager dot player inventory manager uh, dot current ammo and inventory does not equal null, not ammo type. And then if we have ammo and inventory, then we do the check to see if it's the same type. There we go. Now, if it is the same type, we have to start doing some logic here now. So we know if we got to this point, we know we have the same ammo. We passed the check, right? So let's actually uh, let's copy all this logic and paste it in here. And let's delete a couple of things and change some stuff because... Uh, first off, we need to come down here and make an integer variable. Uh, and we're going to call this int amount of ammo to reload. So this is how much ammo we want to put into the gun, okay? And this will be different depending on how much we actually have left. So to find this value, uh, let's first off erase this line that just adds 12 um, shots to the gun because that was just for testing before. We need to actually subtract two values that we already have and know. Uh, and that value is actually going to be we're going to need to subtract the max amount of ammo the gun holds from the remaining ammo. So it's going to be amount of ammo to reload is equal to player manager dot player equipment manager dot weapon being the current weapon we're using dot max ammo minus the weapons remaining ammo. And that will give you the amount we actually need to put into the gun. So if you have zero and the max is 12, you're going to need 12. If the max is 12 and you have six, 12 minus six, you need six. So then we're going to make a check on how much we actually have. We're going to say if our current ammo and inventory dot ammo remaining is greater or equal to the amount we need to reload, uh, then we're simply going to basically subtract the amount we need to reload from the amount we have in our inventory and then add it to the gun's ammunition. 
Uh, very simple, very straightforward. Uh, else, if it's not, we have less than that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the rest of that ammo into the weapon. So I'll explain as I'm typing this because I know this is probably a lot to process right now. So first want to say player manager dot player inventory manager dot current ammo in inventory. And then we're going to say dot ammo remaining is equal to player manager dot player inventory manager dot current ammo in inventory dot ammo remaining minus amount of ammo to reload. Okay. Now else if we don't have a greater or equal amount of ammo to the ammo we're supposed to put in our weapon when we attempt to reload, we're actually just going to say um, player manager dot player inventory manager dot current ammo in inventory is equal to zero. But before we do that, we're going to put the remaining amount into our weapon. So we'll do that by saying player manager dot player equipment manager dot weapon dot remaining ammo is equal to the amount we have in our inventory before we change it to zero. And there we go. That's perfect. And that should work fine. And let's initialize the amount of ammo to load at zero first because it's always going to be different. Make sure it's always initialized at zero. Um, I should have stated that earlier. Now let's copy this right here and say right above here, we're going to say player manager dot player equipment manager weapon dot remaining ammo is equal to amount of ammo to reload. And then I think we're good. Let's delete these pseudocode comments here. And then let's save that. Oh, and up here too, I'm just going to put a comment. Um, if we have more ammo remaining than we need to drop into the weapon, then I'm going to simply say we subtract the amount needed from our inventory, you can say, or and then from our total, and then I'm going to say in our player's inventory. And then down here, let's make another comment just so it's very clear. We come back to this. We know exactly what's doing what. We're going to say if we have less ammo remaining than the full amount we can put into the weapon. And then we're just basically going to assign that amount to zero and drop the remainder in the weapon. Well, we drop the remainder into the weapon first. So I hope that's very clear. And I do believe this is all we need to do, but I'm going to test into the scene in case I'm missing something. So put those comments there so we know what we're doing. And oh, we also need to assign the the ammo on reserves. Remember that other um, section of the UI we made? We have the, the other zero on the right that shows how much we have in our inventory. So where we load our current weapon, we can actually do that. Um, we Again, we need to first start by checking to see if we have ammo in our inventory that's equivalent to the kind of ammo we're using in our weapon and this will change a little bit when we add the new inventory system but don't worry about that right now a lot of this we will be able to take over with us um, but it will uh, evolve as our systems and logic layer on and get more dense so we're going to say if player manager dot player inventory manager dot current ammo in inventory dot ammo type is equal to the same ammo type as the weapon we're currently equipping and we can do that by saying uh, weapon, because this is where we store it, dot ammo type. And we want to check to see if it's null first. I forgot to do that again, or else we might get an error here. So uh, let's check and see if we actually have ammo in our player's inventory before we actually compare the type of it. Because if we don't have ammo in our player's inventory, and then we try to compare the ammo type to our weapon, we're going to get a null error. It's going to say, what are you talking about? There's no ammo here. And it's going to complain. Okay, so now that we've verified and done our check in here, we're simply going to say... I think we store this in the player UI. So player manager dot player UI manager uh, dot reserved ammo count dot text dot text is equal to player manager dot player inventory manager. And then we're going to say the current amount of ammo inside of the ammo we have in our inventory to string. So current ammo in inventory dot ammo remaining to string. And then we save that. That looks good. Excellent. And now let's go over here into the input manager and we can also paste that down there too. So whenever we're loading, we just update the reserved amount. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the game. Okay, I got 12 and 50. So let's shoot three shots and then reload. So that should be, okay, something's going on wrong. Uh, I think another problem is, yes, I do know the problem is. So I made a mathematical mistake right here. Uh, what we needed to say is player manager dot player equipment manager dot remaining ammo is equal to remaining ammo plus the ammo amount to reload. So if you don't have zero, you need to also add what you've already had with it too. Otherwise you're just erasing it. And I should fire three or four shots again. This should go back up to 46. Yes, perfect. 
All right, guys, so you're gonna notice something. You notice how this is actually changing the scriptable object. So the ammo on the pistol, when you stop the game, and on the box of ammo is actually, uh, it's actually staying changed. We're going to, to basically make that not a thing by instantiating a copy of the scriptable object when we further develop our inventory system. So don't worry about that for now. What we wanna do is actually not use the actual original um, scriptable object, but we want to make its own and change it. Uh, make a clone of it rather and edit the clone, not the original. So let's go back up here on top of this here and say if player manager dot player inventory manager dot current ammo and inventory dot ammo remaining equals zero, uh, let's do a return. Otherwise, we will be able to reload or at least play the animation when we have no ammo. We don't want that, and that'll stop that. And that should do it. I think now this is actually like a fully fleshed out working prototype. We're going to make it neater and add on to it when we expand upon our uh, code by writing the inventory system. And I'm, I think I'm going to start that real soon. So uh, look out for that. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, be sure to drop a like. It does really help in my series a lot. It really does. So if you take a second, leave a like. Really appreciate that. Leave a comment to help appease the YouTube algorithm gods. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk soon.